Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sora Darchild, and welcome to Let's Replay Final Fantasy. Now, last time, we did the entirety of Chapter 2, which was... We came to a, a new continent on our sailing ship, found a village where the elves live, only their prince has been cursed by a dark elf named Astos, who was cursed to sleep for a very long time. We went through a very dangerous cave of the undead creatures to get ourselves a uh, crown that he wanted, thus revealing his true form to us. After beating him, we got the uh, crystal eye back for a sorceress that we uh, had to visit. And then uh, got the herbs to uh, awaken the prince, and he gave us the mystic key, which allowed us to go back here and get the dynamite that we had to give to the elves and make a canal. Now that it's open, it's time to see what lies beyond the outside of these waters. Also, last time I forgot to mention, since last time I was able to level up everybody since that tough chapter, and we're all, everybody's on level 15. Hopefully that should be good enough for us getting through this next chapter that we're heading for. As we're about to start chapter 3. Welcome to Chapter 3, The Rotting Earth. Now the Light Warriors have passed beyond the inner lands of the Great Western Sea. Here, they will encounter the first of the four elemental forces and enemies far stronger than any they have met up to now. The once beautiful town of Melodon, Melodon Melamond is a source of infestation, magic, weapons, and a place to recover strength. Yeah, this town hasn't been doing very well. Because the earth is dying and decaying, a lot of people are sent to their graves. Now then, what have we got for magic spells in this town? With level 5 white magic and level 5 black magic. Alright, Jed, we'll start with you on that. Ooh, cure level 3. That'll be useful, but more useful will be life. Take cure three. Those two should do for now. Now, what about black magic for Toph? Let's see, fire two, I mean three, bane, warp, and slow two. I know fire is definitely one we're gonna wanna take. And, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go with, uh, Warp. He can't learn that right now? Huh. This is a black magic shop, and Toph is black magic. Why can't I use that? Right now, all he can learn is fire. Guess I'll come back later to learn a better spell. 
Let's see. Armor shop. Or weapons. I'm not too sure about most of this stuff. I'll come back to this. Armor is just up of up ahead. Okay, steel armor, silver bracelet, iron helmet, copper gauntlet, and a iron gauntlet. For Bros, I want to get that silver uh, steel armor, but apparently I'm sharp by like 3,000 gold gil. So let's worry about my other companions here. Let's get one for Lee. that let's bring that up to him as I'm pretty sure that iron helmet will be useful on him one for everybody now let's try again Got the silver armor, Jed? Well, get rid of that on you. Actually, Toth, you'll hold on to that in case the uh, silver armor is no good. Hopefully, that will do. Cave is on this peninsula, southwest of this town. A vampire of the Earth Cave is stealing the power of the Earth. We need your help. Sure, we can take care of that. The Titan who lives in the tunnel well, eats gems. He loves rubies. Remember that for later, her my friends, as that's gonna be useful as we go on in this chapter. And I think I want to be at full he full health and magic heck, if I'm gonna be doing this. If you want to get yourself ahead of things, things with leveling up at this point in the game. Coming to this area, and just walking at the bottom part of the map, you can level up off of uh, ogres, wolves, shadows, and uh, ghouls. Now then, let's head to the uh, earth cave as there's something we need to get there first.
There's the cave. Here goes nothing. Now, which way am I supposed to go? Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Ooh, hello! New enemies called Bull! 164 HP, eh? Have everybody attack one at a time. Thank you for attacking, Boris. Or Lee. They can take a hit. They look more like demons than bulls. Like a devil of sorts. Well done, team. and Geiss. Oh boy. Guys, they only have like 56 HP. If I remember right. As for the Spectre, I don't remember how much they have. But I think it should be fine as long as I keep using the uh, level 1 spells. 65? Really? For those green ones? That's a bit lame. Fifty-six exactly, wow. Not for that one. Forty-four on that one. Well, at least we have two less enemies to worry about. Somehow we get... Oh, fudge! Oh, goody. Darn. I was probably gonna have him use a fire spell. Oh well. Darn it! They learned what I was going to do! I need to end this quickly. Like, super quickly. Alright, boys. 
We can do this. Just try to finish them off and don't get paralyzed. Good job, boys. I think if I keep going in the same direction as I'm heading now, I should be able to encounter that vampire in no time. Oh, it's you guys again! Those mind flyers! No, thank you! I want to stay at peak health for this! have only like what 80 HP if I can't run I suppose I have no choice since they're not giving me one that's one down you missed Yeah, these Mind Flayers are playing hardball. I am not messing around with these guys. Burn them! Somewhat glad they went for Lee and not Toth. Despite that, did not do shit on them. That didn't do a dang thing on them. That did. Out of my way, bat. Keep going. Not in the directions I want you to go! Out of my way, bats. And there's the vampire. All living things were born to die. No one can defeat me, the vampire. We'll see about that. Vampire. 156 HP. Terminated. That's it for the vampire! Probably would have been much easier if they brought a stake to drive through his heart. That's how you kill a vampire. That or sunlight or garlic. Inside the treasure box you found? A ruby! What do we do with that ruby? Well, I'll show you when we get out of here.
because there's not much we can do right now. Oh, at this point. So, I'll meet you guys back outside. Okay. I need to stop at a town. And heal. Okay, we'll do the, uh... Titan's Tunnel first, get the item we need, then we'll head back to town. And heal. Now, where is that tunnel, anyway? This way, I think. Titan. If you want pass, give me the ruby. Mm, it tastes so sweet. Rubies are my favorite. Well, that takes care of him. Welcome to Sarda's Cave. There's the old sage now. Use this rod behind the vampire's room. Hiding deep inside, you will see fiend the cause. You will find the cause of Earth's rot. And we will do just that, after I go back to town and replenish everybody's magic and health. Cause for this boss that we're gonna be facing, you're gonna wanna be in top peak condition for this. Okay, I'm as close as I'm gonna be with being perfect here. So far I made it all the way down to this floor where we fought the vampire without taking too much damage. Hopefully I can keep this going till we get to that space down there. Okay, good news and bad news. The good news is we were able to make it through that fight. The bad news is we took way too much damage. And I want to save my magic for when we get to the boss! a stone plate on the floor. You sense something... evil? Well, this is where we use the rod. The plate shatters, revealing a stairway. And I need... to use a heal on... you? And... you again. That's as good as a healing I'm gonna get before going down there. Okay, we're on the fourth floor. There's only one more floor we need to go before the boss. And if you follow my directions, you should be able to find him no problem. Oh fudge, we ran into a troll. Kill it quick, guys! with physical attacks only. I'm going to regret it later, but it's gonna be worth it! How much 
HP do you have anyway? Don't really matter now, cause you're dead! Man, I hate those mind flyers, or wizards as they're called in this game. Let's see, am I going in the right direction? I hope I am. Almost at the boss. We're on the floor he's on. Alright, we're almost there. He's just through those doors. And before I go further in... Jed, I hate to do this, but I need you to waste all your magic getting us to full health. That's as good as I'm gonna get with Toth. Uh, Bros is okay. Good enough for Lee. And that'll do for Jed. We still got all of his uh, level... How do you not have level 2 spells, host Jed? I'll worry about that later, but for now I'm glad that he has levels 3 through 5 on him. And... Toth? You have two uses left of your level 5 spell, and we're still good with levels 1 through 4. Well, my friends, let's do this! The Fiend's Ball cracks open, an ominous cloud rises, an evil shape congeals. It is Lich, the Fiend of Earth. The first of the four elemental fiends! Who is responsible for the Earth decaying is the one standing before you now. He is the first that you will encounter. He has 400 HP and he has powerful spells and he is not afraid to use them. So, I suggest that you Use your best white magic and fire magic on him. Although I think it would have been more accurate that ice would hurt him too, since it would slow down his regeneration and thing, but that, that's beside the point. Okay, uh, all these two can do is physical attack him. I'm gonna have him cast harm on him. Twice. And I'm gonna have him use that level 5 Fire 3 spell, twice, if I can. This is why you want to be at full health for facing him. And hopefully, Jed, I can keep you alive throughout this fight. That's 100 right off the bat there.
Okay, that's half his HP gone. Nine damage? That's all you can do, man? Really? Okay. And you, I'm keeping on heal duty. One more fire spell should do it. Oh yeah, he can also put your allies to sleep. Thankfully, it didn't take on him. We need to get you better weapons, Lee. Yes! We got him! The Archfiend of Earth defeated. I knew level 15 was perfect for this. Nothing here. We brought light back to the orb of Earth. Since there's nothing else left for us to do, let's get out of here. The hard way. Well, good news is we were able to beat the uh, boss and then I was able to get myself out of there. The bad news is my white mage has been turned to stone. So, I'll be taking care of that off screen and when we come back we will find out what we're doing next for next time and let's replay Final Fantasy. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, Hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you want, ring that bell to be notified when to get updated on our next videos. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archild, signing off. Have a good night, folks!